Hello everyone and welcome to the Stock Martin channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the viewer choice stock review. So I did give you five choices of stocks that have been requested by my viewers and it looks like out of these five, ChargePoint was the clear winner at 67%. So I am going to be reviewing the ChargePoint stock today. Before we get into this stock, if you can please give me that thumbs up, the like button. Also hit subscribe notification bell to subscribe to my channel and get all my videos. But let's transition this and talk about the ChargePoint stock. So according to Business Wire, the global electric vehicle market will be booming in the next few years and then in the next decade. We have seen a very big growth in the global electric vehicle market, and it is projected to reach 34 million units by the year 2030 which is a huge increase and up from about 4 million in the year 2021, which does give us a compound annual growth rate of 26.8%, which is very huge for this market. And what this means is that the electric vehicles out there will be really growing and really booming. So you will see around the world that the increase in electric vehicle sales will skyrocket. And we are at the very beginning of that right now. So why do I wanna talk about this? This is very important and um, as we can see that the electric vehicle sales have really surged in the year 2021 and they continue to grow very, very high. Now, just according to this article, you can see that the global sales of the electric vehicles have skyrocketed in the year 2021. Most importantly, uh, China has been the most biggest purchasers of electric vehicles, then followed by the European Union. And third is the United States in the North American market. So this will be very important because if we have all these vehicles coming out in the next few years, they will need to be charged. So in the United States, this is a very nice graph that does show all the electric vehicle charging outlets that are in the United States, and they are mostly in the very large cities. So the very blue highlights the biggest concentration of all the electric vehicle charging stations and according to this map, you can see that all the electric charging stations are concentrated in the largest populated areas, but it is starting to spread out all over the United States. So this does transition me to the ChargePoint company. ChargePoint currently uh, has about 70% of the market value of the United States in the charging infrastructure, and it will definitely continue to grow, especially in the near future. We do know that the United States is working on an infrastructure deal that does have a place for the infrastructure expansion in the United States that will be very good for the ChargePoint company, in my opinion. And I think this will be very, very good for this stock. So let's get down into it and talk about the ChargePoint stock. So we will be reviewing this article from Investor Place. The title of it is ChargePoint stock deserves to double from here. The net zero targets are here to stay and ChargePoint stock's recovery looks inevitable. So currently we are living in an electric vehicle revolution and we are only at the beginning of this revolution and it will continue to expand into the future. Electric vehicle sales are expected to increase and by the Biden's administration and around the world, they are trying to get 50% of all vehicles to be sold by the year 2030 to be all electric. So this is very big news because these vehicles will need to be charged and ChargePoint has a commanding lead in the vehicle charging market uh, to charge these vehicles. So this stock shall do very good in the future, holding very long term, in my opinion. According to this article, ChargePoint is a stock that you can own and be part of the vehicle electrification movement without betting on any specific automaker. So you know that Tesla does have its own charging system and it is one of the best charging systems out there. In the future, it will allow non-Tesla vehicles to charge on its platform, but at a very big premium price. But uh, we do have ChargePoint now that does have a commanding lead in all the electric charging stations out there. And I think that it will dominate in the charging market. So if you do believe that electric vehicles are the future in the United States, they will need to be charged. I think ChargePoint is a really good stock to get into and hold very long term. Another catalyst for the ChargePoint stock is that the United States is working on an infrastructure bill to increase the amount of electrification or electric charging stations to be added in the United States. And I do believe that ChargePoint will get a very big fund or a big percentage of this fund to increase the electrification of the United States nation. 
So next I did wanna talk about ChargePoint as a company. It has been doing quite well. In the past quarter of the year 2021, the second quarter, ChargePoint has had a 61% increase in revenue year over year. In addition to that, looking at its one year, uh, forecast, it has had a 15% increase in its revenue, and it has been about 225 million to 235 million range for that increase in revenue for the year, which is great for this company and should be very good for this stock. This is not including the infrastructure bill if it does pass, and once it does pass, this will be an even bigger boost for this stock, in my opinion. Now, according to this article, ChargePoint is expanding its charging stations around the world, but in the United States, it has activated its charging station ports by 118,000 as of July 31st, and also it is increasing its charging ports in the European Union by 5,400. So it is making a very big move worldwide and it continues to increase. And I do suspect that once this infrastructure bill does come through, this will be a very big boost for the stock of ChargePoint. Now let's do get in, down into the ChargePoint stock. Uh, ChargePoint did end up in the past day at $19.91 and it was down 2.3%. If we look in the past five days, we are down by 2%. We have seen highs or resistance at $20, and the lows have been under that $20, that $19.92 mark. But in the past one month, we have seen a big decline or decrease in this stock. And as you can see that we are, if we draw a line of regression, we are on a downward slope here, and we have lost at about 10.5% of stock price in this company of ChargePoint. We did start off at the August 25th at $22. We did have that resistance again at that $23, but we are going down and hopefully testing a new base. In my opinion, I do believe that the base on ChargePoint is the, uh, about $20, but we are testing that right now, and we are gonna see if this continues to go down. If we look in the past six months, we are down for the past six months at 1.5%. But as you can see, the $20 mark, anytime we go at that $20 mark, we do have a lot of investors that have been buying, but we are at that point right now. So in my opinion, if you can get this stock under $20, I think you're getting a very, very good deal, again, in my opinion. But we will see because we are on a downward trend on this stock, and I can't guarantee right now that we have hit that bottom, that stabilization point at this point in time. But if we go back six months, we have seen that this stock can go and test as high as $35. And around this time, back in June 29th, there was a lot of uh, information out there going forward that the infrastructure bill could be coming through and could be passing. But ever since then, we have had a lot of fizzling out because we have not really seen our government really enact and vote on anything going through. So we have seen a big sell-off from this uh, high point on June 29th. And we can see that this sell-off has all the way gone down as 44% uh, till right now. So you are getting a very nice discount of 44% in this stock. I do think that we can test those new highs again once this infrastructure bill does go through. Let me go back in the past one year. We are actually up in the past one year by 43.8%. And we did test those highs back in December of last year at $46.00. And you can see that we have tested those lows. So anytime again, we have tested those $20 marks, we are getting a lot of buyers in. So we are approaching at that very nice sweet spot to buy this stock as I do believe that it will be a good future buy in my opinion. And I do think that this stock has a very big potential moving on up from here. Next, I did want to transition into the tip ranks. It looks like the, the smart score on tip ranks is about four. And this is mostly because of the technicals that we've had. We have the single moving average has been very negative and been very down in the past 20 days as I have just shown you in the stock price and in the past month. But if we look at these analysts, they do give it a moderate buy. The tip rank investors out there are very positive on this stock. There is a lot of blogger opinions that are very bullish on this stock. The new sediment is quite neutral, and I do think that this will increase 
once that the infrastructure bill does get voted and we start getting some news about the infrastructure bill going through. Uh, the technicals, as I have mentioned, the single moving average is down for this stock, but there has been in the past 12 months a lot of upward momentum of about that 60%. But insiders have sold this stock quite a bit. In the past three months, they have been selling $272 million worth of stocks in the past three months. And as you can see, the fundamentals on the return of equity are negative, especially in the past 12 months, they have been negative 7.5. Now, let me show you the analyst reviews out there. We have had nine analysts review the charge point stock out there five do give it a buy three a hold one a sell so all in these nine when you average them it does give us a moderate buy all these stocks together if you combine and average them they do have a 69 percent upside from now at the in 12 months this stock should be worth around 33 dollars and 71 cents if you do an average of all the analysts out there. The highest price target of all these analysts out there is $46. The lowest price target is $24, which does give us that average of $33.71. If you look at this stock right now, you are getting it at $19.91. And even if you go back and look at the lowest price target in the next 12 months at $24, you still have a very good chance of increasing your money in this stock. I do project that this stock will do very, very well. Again, once we start seeing the infrastructure bill, I do believe that this stock will definitely pop up. But right now we are just at the very beginning of this EV revolution and this EV growth. And this will continue to grow. Um, as I have mentioned that the compound annual growth rate is about 26%, which is huge for the industry and a huge for the electric vehicle sales. So by the year 2030, the charge point stock should do very, very well. Again, in my own opinion, because all these electric vehicles will need to be charged. And this will be the leader in the electric vehicle charging infrastructure, not only in the United States, but they will pu be pushing out around the world as well. But I hope you like this review from the uh, Stock Martin viewer choice stock pick. And if you did, please give me that thumbs up the like button. Also, if you can comment down below if you have any other stocks that you would like me to review, and I'll do them on the next weekend. And thank you so much again for uh, watching this video, but please give me that thumbs up the like button and click on that subscribe button notification bell so you can get all my notifications when I make new videos. Also, please share this video with your friends, your coworkers, that next door neighbor, and that family member. I really appreciate you, and we are growing this channel quite well, and I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you so much, and have a great weekend. Down below, if you would like to help out the channel, I put two links. One's for Webull. If you open an account, deposit $100. You get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. If you deposit $100 into Coinbase, you get $10 of cryptocurrency and trading. Thank you for supporting the channel.